Taliban, war, ISIS, public exclusion, no human right, burqa, refugee. These are the images that the word Afghanistan brings to mind of people. But underneath this virtual and frustration, modern history lies a country with natural beauty and culture. As starting from the green pleasures and the snowy ridges to hunting deserts, highlands, and one of the highest peaks of the world, the Hindu Kush mountain. Among these tickets of the war, the artists and craftsmen had could continue to practice and took the title of the second base handmade craft in the world. For no matter what, our hope exists, and so does Afghanistan. At eight years of age, my grandfather walks me up to the roof of his four-storied hillside home. It overlooks the bustling streets of Darjeeling, a Himalayan town in India's West Bengal state. The street overlooked used crisp packets, but more than that, the smell of the sweet orchids juxtaposed the smell of the streets below, the smell of life. On the other side of the roof stood the green hills and the white-plumed mountains. My grandfather turned to me with steady eyes and a somber tone. Riggs in Dorji Latu, as your great uncle first climbed Chumaloma, as your grandfather first climbed it twice, and as your family have climbed the mountains and conquered them, you too shall climb your own mountains someday. If not Everest, I'm sure that they will be just as great. Lagos. Byzantium, Constantinople, Istanbul. The piece of land that made nations fight for it, I get to call my home. She is delightfully chaotic, a beautiful mess, a crowd of roses and tulips living in harmony. For the breeze from the east, you would find yourself in the middle of a different culture. Tables full of food and quality conversations with big families and many friends. The smell of our coffee, made with love, served with a piece of Turkish delight will remain in your best memories for 40 years. Lie under the sun next to the dark blue sea. Climb up the mountain to snowboard and ski. Ask anyone that will recognize my home between Europe and Asia, which has the best parts of both. The reality of Bhutan is that we are a small and underdeveloped country trying our best to survive. And we have been surviving. In fact, we are thriving. And the reason we are thriving is because we are blessed with extraordinary kings. Our kings have worked tirelessly hard just for the well-being and happiness of the citizens and for the mission of developing our country with happiness. Yes, Bhutan is one of the happiest countries today because we strengthen our country with happiness. Today, our culture flourishes. Not only our culture, but our tradition, the environment, the people, and the country itself. Israel is a young democratic country that is a minority in the Middle East just like I am a minority here in UWC USA as an Israeli. We both are different in the view of the majority as we dare to carry our own personal story and different route that isn't perceived as acceptable as Israel isn't in the heart of consensus like me. Sometimes silence is the, is the one that shows strength. It is impossible to ignore the conflict as part of the Israeli story, but also the high tech, the entrepreneurship, the agriculture and the social democratic components such as Tel Aviv Gay Pride Parade. I, can, I, I am the view of my homeland, and so I respect everyone as we are all human beings. Israel population consists of people who come from different, from different countries in the world and bring their costumes and traditions. However, and similarly to UWC, however, the Israeli culture accepts everyone. That creates a, multi -pot, a melting pot that doesn't exist everywhere. Like the people, there is a topographic diversity and even the lowest place in the world, the Dead Sea. The common language is Hebrew, the only language in the world which have been destroyed and renewed. Israel in its foundation is a combination of big dreams and great hope. And on a personal note, I would like to add and say that if we all would open our heart and really listen to each other, the future will be better as peace begins between us. Nepal, the beautiful nation that lies in the lap of Himalayas, rich in cultural and natural diversity, Nepal is habited to thousands of floras and faunas, along with more than 100 mother tongues spoken. Gurkha, the word that depicts the incredible bravery of Nepali soldier, is our identity. It, Nepal is no utopia. There are several social and political problems that has been dragging its pace of development. Nepal is not a prosperous nation, neither is it developed, but it is rich 
reach in terms of heart of people that reside here. Asithi Debo Bhava, the Sanskrit slogan entitles Guest to be God. And such is the hospitality among the people, because we don't just welcome people here, we make them feel at home. <coughs> Kurdistan. As the name suggests, the land of the Kurds. It's not a country on the map, do not Google it, but it indeed is carved on the, in the hearts of more than 45 million Kurds all over, who are predominantly located in Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey. Pay a visit at this time of the year. There are beautiful green fields full of narcissists and poppy flowers where we can have a really nice picnic and play some badminton. Or if you would like, I will take you to the thousands of earliest traces of civilization of Mesopotamia, including the 7,000 years old citadel of the capital city, which is also the oldest city, one of the oldest cities in the world. Speaking of the city, where we are there, we can sit on very small plastic chairs by the roads, just far enough not to get run over by a car. There, I'll treat you to five cups of tea and a big bag of sunflower seeds, because food is how we come together. Finally, as we watch the sunset on the peak of Goizhou Mountain, Kurdistan will have carved its love, not in just mine, but in your heart as well. Israeli, Turkish, Afghan, Kurdish, Tibetan, Lebanese, Nepali. Small in number, unique in culture. 